Another haul from Record Crate has arrived and what I got is coming up. ABC TC here, TC Kirkham, the Kirkham Report. I've uh, got a little, uh, little bit of a shipment from Record Crate. It's way smaller than usual because I haven't been buying much from them lately. Uh, it hasn't been a lot striking my fancy. I grow, I'll grow, uh, grab stuff that is expensive if I like it, and I did that on a couple of ones here. But uh, for the most part, I grab stuff that just intrigued me or that I wanted to get uh, to have in my collection. Uh, and it's only a few things, plus a Record Store Day title, and another bonus because I won a sale, uh, won a uh, sale uh, drawing a couple weeks ago. Still, great stuff, and I can't wait to hear it. First up, two albums from the legendary Jim Bailey. Uh, my friend Jen, who passed away on Christmas Day, was a huge fan of Judy Garland, and she had seen Jim in concert several times. I've seen him on TV a number of times, and I thought these would be great. This was his debut album from 1972, I believe it said. Um, Gatefold on United Artists, featuring, of course, Jim in his most famous uh, imitation as Judy Garland, as well as Barbara Streisand. And uh, I'm not sure who the blonde is up there, but I'm sure we'll find out as I listen to this. And also... Live in concert, uh, Jim Bailey at Carnegie Hall. Uh, this features him as Judy and Barbara, and also a side as just Jim Bailey. So uh, he is a, a terrific, was a terrific uh, performer, and uncanny impersonations of Streisand and Garland. Just terrific. Showing you how eclectic my tastes are, I picked this up because it is a classic. He is one of the great comedians of the country music field, and this one is one of his best known. This is Archie Campbell. Of course, he's best known for his long run on Hee Haw and Bedtime Stories for Adults. This was one of his earliest recordings from 1962. I have not heard this, but I have always loved his kind of weird humor, and so I'm sure I will get a kick out of this. This one I was a bit surprised about because I looked it up on Discogs and I'm like, whoa. Um, this is one of those rare things. Um, it's basically a Greatest Hits compilation. Um, and I'm going to just pull the album out here so I can tell you some of the songs on it. This is a DJ use only, not for sale exclusive. The Sassy Miss Bassy from Shirley Bassey. This thing goes for a pretty penny on Discogs because it is a promo only. Um, it has most of her big hits, including Goldfinger, Day by Day, It's Impossible, um, for all we know. All stuff from the mid-70s. It came out in 1979 on United Artists Records. There's the label. And even the label says a, uh, what does it say? a special programming aid in tiny print there. I don't know if it's going to be visible or not. We'll see. Um, I thought that was... I mean, I've never seen a package like this. I've never seen them do that on a label. Uh, usually you just get the gold stamp from or whatever. But So this is this is an interesting one. Um, I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I picked up a gift wrapped two from Adam. Uh, I got the first one on this shipment, gift wrapped. This is a promotional only. Uh, album released by Warner Brothers in 2019 or 18, 2009, 2010. It's a compilation of Christmas music from Michael Buble, My Chemical Romance, Flaming Lips, Nikki and Rich, Foxy Shazam, Jack's Mannequin, Megan Smith, Randy Travis, Regina Spector, Tyler Hilton, Melee, The Used, Never Shout Never, Dwight Yoakam, Jeremy Lister, Reliant K, Whitney Duncan, The Brian Setzer Orchestra, Blake Shelton, and R.E.M. Uh, all released on promotional only red and green vinyl like the fur like the earlier one it has this insert which has a list of who's on it and what and a uh, quote on the back end of it there and also the two discs are on colored vinyl sides one and two on translucent red 
very Christmassy. Sides three and four on translucent green. Uh, this was in great shape, and and uh, it it follows in the footsteps. Actually, it leads the footsteps of Rift Wrap Two, which are numbered five, six, seven, and eight on the album, rather than one, two, three, and four. So you can tell it's part of a set. Very cool, and it's a promotional only uh, set also. So that's terrific. Uh, finally, uh, of the ones I bought, other than the special two, uh, I'm I, I'm a sucker for early Moog music, and this one I love. The idea of I've not heard it, but it has a lot of great songs on it. Switched on Rock by the Moog Machine, or Moog Machine, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, I've always thought it was Moog, but I guess it's Moog. Um, this has Spinning Wheel, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Feeling Groovy, Get Back, Yummy, 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 Time of the Season, uh, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, You Keep Me Hanging On, Hey Jude, and a shop song I don't know. Oh, no, I know. I saw a song I'm not sure of called The Wait. I'm not sure what that is. Great liner notes on the back. Uh, terrific release. So that'll be fun to, to take a listen to. I also got a prize album. Adam knows me too well. He knows what I love. And promotional albums are I'm a sucker for. Um, I know it's a prize because it wasn't on my list. And it wasn't something I was expecting. But this will be one of those that Steve uh, Value Vinyl will be drooling over because I don't think he has it. This is a promotional album from Weilers. You guys remember Weilers? They were a drink company. They made the powdered drinks. Mostly I knew them for lemonade and tea. But they also made you know Kool-Aid knockoffs. This is the second, second season. Another profit hit from Weilers. It is a Christmas album. Side one is all Tony Bennett. Side two features... Ferranti and Teicher, Johnny Mathis, another Tony Bennett song, Sketch Henderson, and Charlie Bird. Interestingly enough, there's nothing on the inside of the gatefold. It's blank. Why is it blank? Uh, and uh, it was released as a special from uh, Columbia Special Products. If you can see the label there, one of those Columbia Special Products labels. Very cool. And then finally, my last, I thought, I, I said the other day that the Rough Trade stuff was my last um, record store day uh, stuff, and that's not true. It, it was, but I didn't know when this was coming, but I do know it was record store day, uh, which is coming up again. I have more stuff to get, and I don't know if I can afford it. Uh, this is Chemical Brothers and the 12-inch single, The Darkness That You Fear, and Work Energy Principle, German Pressing, Yes, Kurt, I like I like uh, Chemical Brothers. I've been a fan of theirs for years. Um, despite the fact that I buy a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Adam had a, a straight great price on this where it was available for the same price as Record Store Day, of course. And uh, that was a good deal. So, uh, thank you, Adam. Um, I've got some more stuff ordered, of course, from Adam. I always do. And I'll have some more stuff coming in. And... and uh, some more videos up in the next week. I hope you'll take a look at them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate it when you watch the videos and comment on them. So don't forget to leave and comment. Leave a comment. Leave and comment. That doesn't sound right. Leave a comment. And um, don't forget to check out everything else on our uh, stuff, including our Instagram and uh, Facebook, Twitter, Discogs, a few other things coming soon. And my full website is at thekirkhamreport.com, and uh, I'm always trying to update it and bring all kinds of interesting musical stuff to my musical friends. Until next time, I'm T.C. Kirkham, The Kirkham Report. We will see you soon.